today we are going to learn the shear force and bending moment diagram so to understand the shear force and bending moment diagram you should know how what are the type of beams what are the types of support you have to understand that things so to find the shear force i will explain you how to find that things so before we start with we understand what is meant by shear force a shear force is the algebraic sum of the unbalanced force that is that in the beam and what is meant by bending moment a bending moment is the moment that occurs in the beam due to the unbalanced force so we find that things before to start that things we understand what is the sign convention to find that things okay so sign convention for the shear force consider this is a beam to find the shear force we take a section here if in the left section it's a upward force and in the right section it's a downward force so we consider this is the positive shear force means if we consider this section we look here only this portion so that will give us positive if upwards if that is negative uh, in the downwards will be considered as a negative here if you consider from right to left so we consider this section right force in the downward direction so we consider that as a positive one the downward force and here is the upward force so here we consider the shear force as a negative one means we consider this section and the downward force so we consider that this will that will be the negative one in the right hand section that will be in the upward direction we consider as a negative uh, how we use the sign convention that we understand with the help of the example now we understand how to what is the sign convention for the bending moment so the bending moment will be so bending moment here again we have to consider the section if at this section means we consider as a x x if we move from the left to right so we first up at this so that will give us a positive bending moment and here it's anti clockwise so it is also considered as positive because we move from the right to left if we move from the left to right so clockwise will be the positive one and anti clockwise will be the negative one in this case if the moment is in this direction and here this is so if we move from the left to right okay so the moment will be in the anti clockwise that we consider as a negative bending moment and if we move from the left to right uh, right to left so that will be the positive uh, negative for the clockwise one. so i will explain you with the help of the example so this is the diagram we we have to find the bending moment of this and the uh, shear force to find the bending moment we have 5 kN in the downward direction and 5 kN in the downward direction at 3 in this so before that we start we give the naming so it's a here we got b c or this portion d or you can name anything as you want so first thing we have to find the reaction at the support so this is the reaction force it's a ra and rb to find the ra and rb we have to first find the moment summation of moment at a equal to 0 to find the rb we consider clockwise moment as positive one and anti clockwise moment as negative one so here this portion this force moves in this direction it rotates clockwise so we consider that is positive so 5 into it's 3 okay next this again moves in the clockwise direction so that will be the positive one so plus 5 into distance will be 4 plus 3 that will be the 7 now it's rb rb move in the anti clockwise okay so that will be the rb into 3 plus 4 plus 3 that will be the 10 equal to 0 now we have to find the rb one equation one unknown we can easily find that so it's here will be the 15 plus 35 equal to rb into 10 this rb moves in that side so we use rb into 10 now we have to find the rb 
so RB will be this addition will be the 50 divided by 10 so we can say that this is a 5 kN so we know this value will be 5 kN now we have to find the RA to find the RA we take a summation of forces at y that will equal to 0 here we take upward forces as positive 1 and downward forces as negative 1 to find the upward forces here RA is going upward so that will be the positive RA means 5 kN more than downwards so we can say that it's a negative 1 5 it's again 5 kN that will downward so this will be 11 minus this RB moves in the upward direction so that will be the positive one and we know that it's a 5 so we can say that plus 5 equal to 0 so here plus 5 minus 5 get cancelled only minus 5 and that will transfer into that side so we get a value of RA that will again 5 kN ok and that is positive so we can say that it's in the upward direction so we are taking the direction is right so that will be the 5 kN now we know the all the forces now we have to find the shear force and bending moment diagram to find the shear force diagram we have to split each point in the two section right means here is the first section okay it's called the left section here is the right section we have to find a force on the each section that is for left hand section and right hand section here again we have to split these things okay in this way to find the shear force, we consider that we move from the left to right. Okay, so left to right, the upward forces will be positive and the downward forces will be negative. To find the shear force, the first thing, shear force at A L. What is the meaning of A L? It's a shear force at point A, left hand side, means this section. So we consider this. Forget all this. Only consider this side portion. So that will be the here no forces there that's why we can say that SF AL will be the 0 kN ok remember that unit is in kN that's why it's a kN next we can say that this section forget this remember only this so that section will have the only RA so we can say that SF AR means the right hand section right hand section here moves in the upward so that's why it's called the 5 will be the positive one so that will be the 5 kN now SF B L. Now consider this section. Forget all this. We only do this portion. So it's a 5 kN only, no other forces. So we can say that again it's a 5 kN. Next will be the SF B R. Now SF B R will be the here. So to find that here one force is, is 5 kN, another force this 5 kN but it is in the negative direction because it is in the downward direction so that will be the 5 minus 5 gives us 0 kN okay. next we have to find SFCL SFCL means this portion okay. at that point we have the same forces 5 kN and 4, 5 kN in the downward direction so that will be again 5 minus 5 equal to 0 kN now SFCR to find SFCR we consider this section so that will be the 5 kN downward 5 kN and again downward 5 kN so that will be the 5 minus 5 minus 5 because this is in the downward direction so that will give us minus 5 kN now we have to find SFDL so SFDL will be we consider this section only so that will be the 5 this minus 5 this minus 5 gives us same thing 5 minus 5 minus 5 equal to minus 5 kN ok next is the SF DR so it's a large section now we consider all the beam because it's a large section so consider this thing it's a 5 kN 5 kN minus 5 kN minus and this 5 kN will be positive so the equation will be 5 minus 5 minus 5 plus 5 gives us 0 kN. So we know the all the forces at each section. Now we find draw the SFD of this diagram. So to draw this I 
draw each point here. So this is the point, this is the beam section. Now, we know that this point A here, this point B here, C and D. Now, SF AL, we have the force 0. So consider, this is the 0 position, 0 point. Okay. Next will be the SF AR, that will be the 5. Means at A, we have 5 kN. So we move this in this way. So we can, we can say that it is the 5 kN on the y-axis is the forces so that will be the 5 kN now next is SFBL it's again 5 kN so we can say that this is the point so we have to join that things next will be the SFBR is 0 so we have this at B we have the again 0 next at SFCL we have the 0 again so we move from here so this line is there don't draw this Next, SFCR. So, SFCR will be, value will be the minus 5 kN. So, that will be in the downward direction because minus always in the downward direction for the y axis. So, that will be minus. Next, we have the SFDL. That again minus. So, we can say that it's here. And D will be the 0. 0. So, we complete this tire and here we have the minus 5 kN. Or you can say positive. Because in the downward means excess below the x-axis we consider as a negative one. So that will be negative one. So this is the SFD for the this beam. So now we have to find the BMD of this beam. So before that we have to find the what are the bending moment in this section. So to find that in the bending moment we don't do like this. We only uh, select the points one means uh, think, uh, moment at A, moment at B, moment at C in this way. So that will be the here bending moment at A. Okay. Here again you consider that clockwise will be the positive and anti-clockwise will be negative because we move from the left to right. If we move from the right to left, so that will give the reverse means clockwise will be the negative and anti-clockwise will be the positive. If we move from the right to left. Now we move from the left to right. So we consider that clockwise will be the positive and the anti-clockwise will be the negative. Remember the sign convention is more, most important in the uh, SFD and BMD. So bending moment at A. So at this point, forget all this. Remember only at this point, we have, we have to find the bending moment at this point. So we consider only this section. Forget all this behind section. Only consider this section. So that will give us bending moment equal to zero because there is no force. Now bending moment at B equal to. Now we have to find the bending moment at B. So to bending moment, we have this portion. It gives clockwise moment, this 5 kN at A. So that gives clockwise moment. So that will be the 5 into, distance will be the 3. So that will be 5 into 3, that will give the 15 kN meter. Here, I forget the meter. So kN meter. Now next, we have to find the bending moment at C. To find the bending moment at C, you can see that this section, here are the two forces, so they give the moment. This is the force, it's a clockwise, so that will be the positive one. So 5 into the distance will be 3 and 4, so that will be the 7 minus this moves in the anti clockwise, that's why it's the negative. So 5 into 4 because distance is 4. So that gives us 35 minus 20, so that again gives us 15 kilonewton. 15 kN meter. Now we have to find BMD means bending moment at point D. So here we have to consider all these three forces. We don't consider this portion. Okay? Means this D portion we not consider. So RA will be means RA moves in the clockwise. So that will be the 5 into distance will be 3 plus 4 plus 3. So that will be the 10 minus 5 into now. Because this moment is of anti-clockwise, the distance will be 3 plus uh, 4 plus 3, so that will be 7 minus 5 into this distance will be the 3. So this gives this is gives 50 minus it's a 35 minus 15. So that again gives us 0 kilonewton meter. Now we know the all the forces at particular location means at A, B, C, D. So now we find the 
draw the uh, BMB means the bending moment diagram. So for that, as the different color. So this is the simple line. So now we have to find this. So at point A, this is the point A portion. So at point A will be zero kilometer. So we consider this point at a zero kilometer. Next will be the at point B. It's a fifteen kilometer meter. So that will be the we consider as here fifteen kilometer. So we draw this line. So we can say that it's a fifteen kilometer meter. Now next at point C, it's again fifteen kilometer. So we can say that this is fifteen kilometer. So we draw this. And next will be the zero kilometer. So this is the point. Last one will be the okay. So we can say that this is the BMD of this diagram. Okay. Remember the sign convention is most important in this section. That's it for this session. If you want notes and more about the BMD and SFD, so click on the above link.